It is a beautiful day in the middle of September in Grayson Highlands State Park, Virginia. Ready to get this hike started. On top of a massive boulder above the Appalachian Trail. And this is a really good spot to preview the hike for today. We're gonna to follow the Appalachian Trail north, which gradually drops into the Wilson Creek and Big Wilson Creek headwaters down in here. And then once we're down, we're gonna wind through the Little Wilson Creek Wilderness on the slopes of Stone Mountain to this gap, which is scales. It's a uh, horse trailer um, compound. And then do an out and back up to Stone Mountain, which is just really flat looking, but that's a great viewpoint. And then continue on the Appalachian Trail north and then split off following the Pine Mountain Trail, which follows this contour to Rhododendron Gap, which is somewhere over here. And then we're gonna pick up the Appalachian, the Wilburn Ridge Trail and go over the top of Wilburn Ridge while the Appalachian Trail parallels the top of the ridge about right here. And then return to Massey Gap over here and drop down back to the parking lot. And then at the end, I'm going to do a quick out and back up to Haw Orchard Mountain, uh, which I haven't bagged before, and it's a rank 5,000 foot peak. And I believe this is Big Pinnacle, and that's Little Pinnacle, and I'm unsure which is the high point, but it's really quick to do both. So it's going to be an awesome day up here in Grayson Highlands and the Mount Rogers National Recreation Area. Hey everyone, it is Sunday, September the 15th, about 12.50 p.m., live from the Y Shelter on the Appalachian Trail in Grayson Highlands State Park, Virginia. Started the hike about 11.15 a.m. and hiked up from Massey Gap to meet the Appalachian Trail and followed it north, dropping down into the Wilson Creek and Big Wilson Creek headwaters. And from here, we're going to enter the Little Wilson Creek Wilderness and gradually climb the flanks of Stone Mountain on the Appalachian Trail, dropping into Scales, the horse camp, the horse trailer uh, parking area, and do a quick out and back up to Stone Mountain, which has a beautiful view and is a ranked Virginia peak that Jonathan hasn't done before. And then we're going to return the Scales and continue on the Appalachian Trail north following the Pine Mountain Trail back to Rhododendron Gap and Wilburn Ridge before returning to the parking lot. I think it's either been four or five years since I've hiked in the Grayson Highlands Mount Rogers Recreation area, at least this section, because last year I did White Top Mountain, which is about 10 miles to the west. And I actually ran into a hiker on the way to the shelter that said they actually watched my videos and they were watching my video of this. and. I don't remember if I actually did that because the last time I did this loop, which is on hiking upward as the Wilburn Ridge Pine Mountain Loop, I'll put a link in the info. Um, I did that, I think in 2014 before I was doing videos, but if I did, the video was with a worse phone and I didn't have a stick pick. So I guarantee you the quality was much worse. So this is an upgrade. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a beautiful day out about 70 degrees and sunny. And next up will be Stone Mountain. Just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I knew that they installed uh, bear lockers at the Thomas Knob shelter because it had terrible bear problems um, last year when a bunch of through hikers were coming through. And I wasn't sure if they installed them at the Y shelter also, but they have. So that's a nice little thing to know. Uh, in case you're worried about bear bagging or canisters, 
uh, being left alone in this region because there's a lot of bear activity. This is a nice campsite on the Appalachian Trail on the south side of Stone Mountain. In the past when I've passed by this, a lot more leaves were on this tree. Still a really good grassy area. So next we're gonna head down over there to Scales. You can see the forest road horse trails coming out of it. And then climb up to Stone Mountain up here. And then continue the loop. Searching for the high point of Stone Mountain. I think it's that boulder over there. And now I'm, I believe I did not actually bag the high point when I hiked this four or five years ago. I'm actually not sure, but we're gonna scout around, get the real summit. We actually thought that a rock just beside the trail over there uh, was the high point of Stone Mountain, which means that I would have bagged it many years ago. Stone Mountain is just under 5,000 feet. I didn't look up the exact elevation before coming out today, um, but it is on the Virginia 4500 list, and I believe it has over 300 feet of prominence. It's really difficult to tell when you're up here. Uh, what is the highest point because it's so wide and flat and all these trees may seem like higher ground But when you stand on some of these boulders, you can see that you're even with the middle of these trees and the land is actually at lower elevation It's also hard to get one perfect viewpoint because it's so wide and gently sloped But this is about the best you can get and this is one of my favorite viewpoints in the area and in all of Virginia. Right now I'm looking due south into North Carolina at the Amphibolite Mountains, which I hiked last weekend. On the left, that's Mount Jefferson. Phoenix is in the middle. You might be able to see towers on top. You probably won't. This double peak right here is Bluff Mountain, which I did hike last weekend with a large group. And then just poking up over Hall Orchard Mountain are the highest peaks of Three Top Mountain. Now looking southwest at Hall Orchard Mountain, which I hopefully will do after this hike is over. And now west at the incredible Wilburn Ridge which we'll be on in a couple hours. We're gonna hike up here towards Rhododendron Gap and then go across the, the peaks of Wilburn Ridge. And then on the right there, this is the first good view we've had of Mount Rogers, the highest peak in Virginia. It's just a hulky sloped peak covered in dark green, blackish looking conifers. Especially on this side and the north side, it's a lot of Southern Appalachian spruce fir forest. It's one of only two stands in Virginia, and you get a lot more of that in North Carolina and the Smokies, Tennessee side. Then we also get a really awesome view to the north and northwest of the Allegheny Mountains of Virginia. And I believe I picked these out more accurately last year when I hiked to White Top Mountain. Um, but I'm thinking this is flat top. Uh, it's over 4,500 feet, uh, but I can't tell 
what the peaks are going to the right. I'm thinking that I'm looking, this gap right here might be where the New River cuts through Virginia and West Virginia. So that could be where the Appalachian Trail drops on Paris Mountain and then climbs back up uh, to Peters Mountain and eventually the Mountain Lake Wilderness and Bald Knob and all that area like Parisburg and the Narrows really good area to hike in. That's Giles County because the further north I look the peaks are not as big and then looking to the left here I think this is the biggest peak of the Virginia Alleghenies and I could be wrong but I think that's Balsam Bear Town Mountain because it's the highest peak of the Garden Mountain uh, complex that forms um, three quarters of a ring around Burke's Garden. So it's a really wide rim. So to me, this makes sense. And then if I look further to the left, I can't see Beartown Mountain, which is about 4,600 feet. But still, incredible view. I'm just not as familiar with the peaks of the Allegheny Mountains along the West Virginia, Virginia border. I'm going to go ahead and second guess myself within the video because when you're standing here, to me it seems like the pointier peak on the right is a little bit higher in elevation because it would be about 150 feet higher than Beartown Mountain. And Balsam Beartown is just under 4,800 feet. So it could be that peak, which I called flat top earlier. And then this peak on the left could be Beartown Mountain instead of Balsam Beartown Mountain. I'm gonna have to check my maps, but you know, you can have it both ways. You can choose my first video, how I uh, identified them, or this. We decided to do the Crest Trail instead of the Pine Mountain Trail, which is 0.3 miles shorter and they parallel each other. The Pine Mountain Trail is only a few hundred yards to my right. Well, the Crest Trail is just almost completely exposed so far and goes through some incredible camping areas. We've passed multiple camping areas that are some of the best I've seen in this park or recreation area. But when it's sunny outside like this, this exposure gets tiring. I'm gonna have some sunburn that I didn't want. Still on the Crest Trail. Rhododendron Gap is up here. Might skip the Wilburn Ridge Trail and just stick to the Appalachian Trail. Behind schedule today. I did want to point out the rock where I started and uh, previewed the hike. That rock, the more pointy one. And the trail dips down into that valley out of sight towards the wise shelter and then goes on the backside of this ridge into the little, little Wilson Creek wilderness before emerging onto the Stone Mountain bald area. And earlier, when I was uh, showing you the campsites at the Crest Trail, roughly that bald area up there. Got some cattle grazing, some big horns on the ones over there. I don't want to get too close for a better view. It would connect with the Mount Rogers Trail and the Appalachian Trail. Hello, cows. <laughs> that guy's very calm over there. Appalachian Trail, 
crossing the top of Wilburn Ridge. This is one of the three big knobs on top of Wilburn Ridge. And the AT, after this little grassy saddle, goes to the left of that knob and the Wilburn Ridge Trail climbs up to the top. And I'm actually gonna skip that. Um, my feet are really hurting from blisters. I have a new pair of shoes from a week ago and I don't really like the fit at all, so I'm gonna return them, but they've given me more trouble on the last two weekend hikes than any of my other La Sportiva models have. So I'm really disappointed with the La Sportiva Akiras. But less than two miles back to the parking lot, we're probably gonna skip Hall Orchard Mountain too. Just my feet are just feeling like crap. Every step is very painful. So enjoy the views. I'm gonna cut the hike a little bit short. Nice view looking towards Massey Gap on the right and some of those big boulders on the Appalachian Trail that we started the day with. Finished the hike back at Massey Gap parking area exactly six o'clock which means we hiked for about six and a half hours today or maybe six hours and 40 minutes. It was a little longer than I expected, given my drawing on Cal Tapo. Uh, it was about 13 and a half miles, or maybe a little bit more. And uh, that doesn't include a warm-up bushwhack earlier in the day to Bluff Mountain, which I did last year, but Jonathan hadn't done. So in total, we hiked about 15 miles today, uh, plus or minus 0.5 miles, and about 7 hours. And it was a lot tougher than I expected, and it's partially due to my new La Sportiva Akira shoes that I don't like, and I'm definitely returning next week. Uh, they've given me a lot of blister problems my first two hikes, and you don't, don't need to correct me on this. You don't have to break these shoes in. They're trail runners. I've worn all of my other La Sportiva shoes straight out of the box on big hikes and had no problems. Uh, these have a weird fit for their size, they're a lot more narrow than my other shoes, but the heel is a lot more slippery. It's not that tight as I like it. Um, and combined with probably the worst rocks in the Southeast Blue Ridge Mountains that I know of, you know, it's something I always underestimate when I'm in this area, but the Appalachian Trail, the horse trails, and the other hiking trails are just full of rocks the entire time. And it really wears you down. Your feet get really sore. Uh, it's very annoying at times and it slows you down and that helped uh, develop my blisters today. But otherwise, it was a beautiful day. It was in the low 70s, perfect weather, never a cloud in the sky. Uh, just towards the end there, we just kind of put our heads down and wanted to finish uh, instead of stopping at all the views on Wilburn Ridge. So overall, that was a disappointing end, but we started the day brilliantly um, at those big boulders and up Stone Mountain. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm probably going to update some of these sections on hiking upward, um, but not do a whole new post for this. Uh, otherwise, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.